That's my wife, Carolyn. See the way the handle on those pruning shears matches her gardening clogs? That's not an accident. Hush, Betsy. Hush, what's wrong? That's our next door neighbor, Jim. And that's his lover, Jim. You spoil her. Bitsy, me. No bark. Come inside now. Come on. Yes. Morning, Jim. Morning, Carolyn. I love your tie, that collar. I just love your roses. How, how do you get them to flourish like this? Well, I'll tell you. Eggshells and miracle grow. I've never heard of that. Man, I get exhausted just watching her. She wasn't always like this. She used to be happy. <laughs> we used to be happy. My daughter, Jane, only child. Janie's a pretty typical teenager, angry, insecure, confused. I wish I could tell her that's all going to pass, but I don't want to lie to her. Honey, are you trying to look unattractive? Yes. Congratulations, you've succeeded admirably. Lester, could you make me a little later, please? Because I'm not quite late enough. Nice going, Dad. Both my wife and daughter think I'm this gigantic loser. And they're right. I have lost something. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but I know I didn't always feel this sedated. But you know what? It's never too late to get it back. Hello. This is Lester Burnham from Media Monthly Magazine. I'm calling for Mr. Tamlin, please. Well, we're all under a deadline here. Uh, you see, there's some basic information about your product launch that isn't even covered in your press release, and I... Yeah. Okay. Can I ask you a question? Who, who is Tamlin? Does he, does he exist? Because he doesn't ever seem to come in. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll leave my number. It's 555-0199. Uh, Lester Burnham. Thank you. Hey, Les. You got a minute? For you, Brad, I got five. So, yeah. I'm sure you can understand our need to cut corners around here. Oh, sure. Yeah. Times are tight. You gotta free up some cash. You gotta spend money to make money, right? Exactly. Like the time that Mr. Were... Flournoy used the company MasterCard to pay for that hooker, and then she used the card numbers and stayed at the St. Regis for, what was it, like three months? That's unsubstantiated That's gossip. That's $50,000. That's somebody's salary. That's somebody who's gonna get fired because Craig has to pay women to fuck him. Jesus. I mean, calm down. Nobody's getting fired yet. That's why we're having everyone write out a job description mapping out in detail how they contribute. That way management can assess who's valuable and who's, who's expendable. It's just business. I've been writing for this magazine for 14 years, Brad. You've been here how long? A whole month? I'm one of the good guys, Les. I'm trying to level with you. This is your one chance to save your job. There is no decision. You just write the damn thing. Well, you don't think it's weird and kind of fascist? Possibly, but you don't want to be unemployed. Oh, well, all right. Let's just all sell our souls and work for Satan because it's more convenient that way. Oh, could you be a little bit more dramatic, please, huh? So, we finally got new neighbors. You know, if the Lomans had let me represent them instead of the real estate king, that house would never have sat on the market for six months. Well, they were still mad at you for cutting down their sycamore. Their sycamore? Come on, a substantial portion of the root structure was on our property. You know that. How can you call it their sycamore? I wouldn't have the heart to just cut down if it wasn't partially mine to support the plot. yet savory meal that I'm about to eat, you can listen to whatever you like. 
So, Janie, how was school? It was okay. Just okay? No, Dad. It was spectacular. Well, you want to know how things went in my job today? They've hired this efficiency expert, this really friendly guy named Brad. How perfect is that? And he's basically there to make it seem like they're justified in firing somebody because they couldn't just come right out and say that, could they? No, no, that would just be too honest. And so they've asked us, you couldn't possibly care less, could you? Well, what do you expect? You can't all of a sudden be my best friend just because you had a bad day. I mean, hello. Barely even spoken to me for months. Oh, what? Your mother of the year?